Malachi, Malachias, Malache or Malachi, listen, Hebrew, Maloiki modern, Malachi, Tiberians, Malai circumflex, messenger. C. Malik was the writer of the Book of Malachi, the last book of the Navim prophets section in the Hebrew Bible. No allusion is made to him by Ezra, however, and he does not directly mention the restoration of the temple. The editors of the 1906 Jewish Encyclopedia implied that he prophesied after Haggai and Zechariah Malachi chapter 1 verse 10, 3 to 1, 3 10, and speculated that he delivered his prophecies about 420 BCE after the second return of Nehemiah from Persia book of Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 6 or possibly before his return comparing Malachi chapter 2 verse 8 with Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 15 Malachi chapter Chapter 2 verses 10 to 16 with Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 23. In the Septuagint or Greek Old Testament, the prophetic books are placed last, making Book of Malachi the last protocanonical book before the Deuterocanonical books or the New Testament. According to the 1897 Easton's Bible Dictionary, it is possible that Malachi is not a proper name, but simply means messenger of YHWH. The Greek Old Testament superscription is Encheri Angelou Auto, by the hand of his messenger. Name Because Malachi's name does not occur elsewhere in the Bible, some scholars doubt whether Malachi is intended to be the personal name of the prophet. None of the other prophetic books of the Hebrew Bible or the Greek Old Testament are anonymous. The form Malachi, signifies, "...my messenger." It occurs in Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 compared to Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. But this form of itself would hardly be appropriate as a proper name without some additional syllable such as Yah, whence Malahir, i.e., "...messenger of Elohim." Haggai, in fact, is expressly designated, "...messenger of Elohim", Haggai 1 verse 13. Besides, the superscriptions prefixed to the book, in both the Septuagint and the Vulgate, warrant the supposition that Malachi's full name ended with the syllable Yah. At the same time the Greek Old Testament translates the last clause of Malachi 1 verse 1, "...by the hand of his messenger." and the Targum reads, by the hand of my angel, whose name is called Ezra the scribe. Works The Jews of his day ascribed the book of Malachi, the last book of prophecy, to Ezra but if Ezra's name was originally associated with the book, it would hardly have been dropped by the collectors of the prophetic canon who lived only a century or two subsequent to Ezra's time. Certain traditions ascribe the book to Zerubbabel and Nehemiah, others, still, to Malachi, whom they designate as a Levite and a member of the Great Synagogue. Certain modern scholars, however, on the basis of the similarity of the title, compare Malachi chapter 1 verse 1 to Zechariah chapter 9 verse 1 and Zechariah chapter 12 verse 1, declare it to be anonymous. Professor G. G. Cameron suggests that the termination of the word Malachi is adjectival and equivalent to the Latin angelicus, signifying one charged with a message or mission a missionary. The term would thus be an official title, and the thought would not be unsuitable to one whose message closed the prophetical canon of the Old Testament. Period Opinions vary as to the prophet's exact date, but nearly all scholars agree that Malachi prophesied during the Persian period, and after the reconstruction and dedication of the Second Temple in 516 BCE. Compare Malachi chapter 1 verse 10, Malachi chapter 3 verse 1, Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. The prophet speaks of the people's governor, Hebrew, Pesha. 
Malachi chapter 1 verse 8, as do Haggai and Nehemiah Haggai chapter 1 verse 1, Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 14, Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 26. The social conditions portrayed appear to be those of the period of the Restoration. More specifically, Malachi probably lived and labored during the times of Ezra and Nehemiah. The abuses which Malachi mentions in his writings correspond so exactly with those which Nehemiah found on his second visit to Jerusalem in 432 BCE Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 7 that it seems reasonably certain that he prophesied concurrently with Nehemiah or shortly after according to Rabbi W Gunther Plaft Malachi describes a priesthood that is forgetful of its duties a temple that is underfunded because the people have lost interest in it, and a society in which Jewish men divorce their Jewish wives to marry out of the faith. See also Tomb of the Prophets Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi